Paramahams Nityananda is a rare living incarnation, a yogi by birth. He has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth. He has authored more than 500 books in Tamil and English, books in Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Oriya, Bengali, Marathi, French, Malay, Polish, Portuguese, Italian, German, Danish, Spanish, Russian and Chinese with translations in 26 languages are available. He is also an exemplary speaker with over 8,000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses. Social services such as Annadam, free medical care, free educational services, ashrams, schools, temples, hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offer exceptional services. A powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases from migraine to cancer. A Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands. A living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems having meditation centers in 151 countries including Bidadi, Thiruvannamalai, Rajapalyam, Salem, Hyderabad, Varanasi, Los Angeles, Ohio, Seattle, San Jose and Phoenix. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam, a spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation. A contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers. Adept in Ashtamaha Siddhis, mystical yogic powers, he has effortlessly awakened the Kundalini of thousands, gracing them with spiritual powers. A spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples worldwide in places like Los Angeles. San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore, and places like Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Thiruvannamalai in India. A dynamic young guru who is an inspiration to thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online. A beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru, blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. Nityanandaya Swagatam Nitya Muktam Nirvikalpam Dhyana Loka Pradipakam Vande Shantamayam Bandham Nityanandaya Swagatam Ananda Gandha Sancharam Sarvo Padhi Vinir Muktam Vande Nyanalayam Natham Nityanandaya Swagatam Let me read the question. Beloved Swamiji, I have a question regarding the corporate world. How can we embed spiritual and social goals into an organization's innovation agenda and processes? How can an organization encourage social responsibility and social entrepreneurship? First, Rafiq, you need to understand Life is not capitalistic. Life is neither capitalistic nor communist or socialist. Please understand capitalism teaches the ownership. Who owns is a big guy. Communism teaches whether you work or not, everything belongs to you. Communism is the way of tamas, means inertia, inertness. Why should you have? Whether I work or not, let me also have. Let us equalize. 
the whole communist philosophy is born out of tamas inertness whole capitalist philosophy is born out of rajas restlessness but life is sattva peace then what is really life what life believes in does it believe in capitalism or communism no understand the major components of your life like disease death contentment life satisfaction just like job satisfaction something called life satisfaction i wanted to tell you important component of life is life satisfaction which is neither capitalistic nor communist a country may be capitalist or communist but life the principles of life are neither capitalist nor communist why you take birth where you take birth why you get the disease when you get the disease why somebody has a high life satisfaction somebody such worst mental disorders i tell you i'm really telling you i know millions of fellows who are loaded with billions of rupees but if you see their personal life you will not be jealous of them because so much suffering there are many capitalistic fellows who built their life with narrow self interest without any ethical foundation principles of life is totally different let me make it very clear if a country supports capitalism you may get the benefits given by the country's infrastructure you may have a bigger house you may even have a boat house you may have wealth you may have zeros in your bank balance but only when the life's principle supports you you will have the gifts of life health life satisfaction you feeling life is overflowing i tell you anything is worth sacrificing to have this feeling life is overflowing life is romance i am telling you i am not talking about the ordinary romance between men and women which is skin deep which disappears moment you squeeze the skin when the sweat comes out which is just skin deep no i am not talking about that romance i am talking about the feeling life itself is romance as i said just sipping a cup of juice and putting the mic into the into my ears this is not some great action to feel life satisfaction but just just the two action i can see wow i can feel very clearly inside the life satisfaction the whole life is moving from one satisfaction to another satisfaction moment this moment so beautifully satisfied and the next moment much more satisfied tamil there is a proverb if your husband is standing by you and the whole family is standing by you you can win the whole world now it means if there is no internal problem you can win the whole world but i tell you if your mind is standing by you if your body is standing by you you can win the whole cosmos i can see very clearly when this life satisfaction is oozing out you can inspire elevate anybody you need to understand the principles of life maybe with the country go with the principles country believes if you are in china go with the principles of communism that is what country believes if you are in us 
go with the principles of capitalism. That is what country believes. Democracy is nothing but the idea created by the capitalistic people to divert your attention, divert your eyes, which is constantly looking at their money. That is why all capitalistic countries are democratic. Capitalistic, they say very clearly, oh, we are democracy. After all, power is with you. Power is with all of you. Democracy, come on, let us talk about democracy. The public says, no, let us talk about capitalism. Let us talk about capitalism. Let us talk about the money you have. We say, no, 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 no. We are a democracy. Let us talk about democracy. Let us not hide our ugly capitalistic concepts behind a small, thin screen of democracy. Unfortunately, the corruption in the elections has made even our political system into capitalism. Man with money wins. That's all. Life is, principles of life is neither capitalistic nor communistic. Capitalism says, man who has is a big guy. Communism says, everybody is equal. The principles of life says, man who takes the responsibility has the right to enjoy. That's all. Not man who owns has the right to enjoy. Not the man who can grab has the right to enjoy. No. Man who takes the responsibility has the right to live. Understand? All your questions related to money, all the Parts of your life impacted by money, those problems attend with the principles of your country's ism, capitalism or communism. If you are in China and you have a problem about money, you have to find solution through communism. Eliminate stress from your life. Step up your performance levels. Enhance your clarity and decision making. Kalpataru, a unique full day transformational healing program blessed personally by rare living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda. Harness the power of meditation and initiation. Experience a glimpse of Kundalini awakening for permanent physical and mental transformation. Take the first step to a happy and successful life. Kalpataru, manifest your destiny. Every weekend at Nityananda Dhyanapitam, Nityananda Nagar, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Welcome to Inner Awakening. The most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience. In just 21 days, thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels, visible anti-aging, healing of chronic diseases, fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness. What is the secret behind this transformation? Kundalini means the inner potential energy. Once it is awakened, opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you. I can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experiences. This extraordinary program is conducted personally by Paramahamsa Nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of Nityananda Dhyanapitam Ashram. Open yourself to the benefits of Nitya Yoga and practical meditation. Experience physical and mental healing. Discover simple ways to handle life with success. Above all, 
Enjoy individual darshan and blessings from Paramahamsa Nityananda every day. Take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime. are in india you have a problem about money you need to find a solution through capitalism the principles of capitalism but if you have a problems related to life health life satisfaction happenings of life whether it's a birth death mental health as i said the life satisfaction fulfillment in the life there are so many things related to life those life's principles if you have a problem related to life's principles find solution with this truth man who takes the responsibility as a right to enjoy this is the principle of life if you have questions about disease desires karma questions related to life why somebody has so much of mental peace some other people don't have it why some people have so much of life satisfaction some people don't have it do you know the most important recent survey happened world's happiest country is india based on the survey by unesco they've done a very beautiful survey taking specimens from all backgrounds giving them a long questioner finally end of the survey they say world's most happiest country means more number of people report life satisfaction for all these questions questions related to life life satisfaction the principle of life need to be understood one more thing i wanted to remind if you want to infuse the life principles into your corporate place in your workplace understand few things first thing you need to know capitalism degenerates into narrow self interest without a strong ethical foundation the capitalism you do not have a strong ethical foundation so rewrite rethink in all your thinking process and evolution infuse responsibility let every person who is part of your organization be told about his responsibility spend at least one hour on making everybody understand their responsibility please understand never think if you take away one hour then the productivity is lost no i am taking every day five hours from all my ashramites whoever is part of my sangha whether you are a volunteer or a ashramite or a rishi or a sanyasi every morning i am there with them morning 5 to 10 at least 2 hours i am personally involved where they are physical mental spiritual identities are enriched the physical identity is body mental identity is your thoughts whether depressed or excited 
the spiritual identity is your consciousness every morning i make sure that they spend 5 hours enriching all the three the corporate company will think oh god morning is the time to work and this swami is keeping them sitting idly till 10 o'clock it is not a right corporate decision no i tell you every morning you are reminded about your life and responsibility and i also wanted to tell you one thing if you can wake up every morning 5 o'clock and go to akada all the engrams which makes you irresponsible in your life will be killed because every demon who is sitting inside you will be alive up by 5 o'clock before you when you want to get up they will be fighting you why should i get up what am i going to do no 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 swami ji said no i don't like him no 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 your health even if i die early what is there no 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 your spiritual growth who cares for enlightenment see all the demons who is sitting with you you have to fight only then you can get out of your bed you don't know just around your bed some 25 fellows are standing with a sword one fellow says eh what is there are you a slave or what every day you have to get up and go there and that same yoga teacher will be standing a second sword comes eh one day if i miss what is there after all today why my next bed guy see this fellow doesn't attend four times a week i only miss only once a week that is a second sword so many demons are standing around you i tell you all these demons are only the patterns which never lets you take responsibility in your life you will see the same demon only will come with a different sword when you are in the workplace eh why are you working like a slave if you don't do this what is there after all your next chair person don't do it's okay any of swami ji will not come here and supervise even if he comes we know how to manage him you can always escape find out some reasons which he cannot verify i tell you exactly the patterns which makes you never take the responsibility of life and life's principles they will be awake alive between 4:30 to 6 just like your whole day's mood is controlled by time so you can see very clearly morning 9 o'clock if you are habituated to go to office you will be agitated for all you guys now even if on our today's are today's there is no satsang for morning 7 o'clock you will feel sleepy see this became pattern now <laughs> anyhow morning if you break the tamas you will break many of the patterns which does not let you take the responsibility of life i really tell you very sincerely i recommend this to all corporate companies morning when you gather for your work whether it is 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock some companies gather 8 o'clock some gather 9 o'clock some even 10 o'clock whatever time first one hour spend making everybody responsible for what they are not just the work they are supposed to do that day no make themselves fit with their clear understanding about what they want from society and what society wants from them their requirements from society society's requirements from them what society requires from them means everybody is in, living in a society in your society your family your boss your subordinates what they all need from you and what you need from them understand you are there only because you need something from them 
Want to get divine guidance for your life directly from an avatar? Introducing Dial the Avatar. Nityanandam, Nityananda here. Paramahamsa Nityananda gives yet another incomparable, unique gift for the whole world. Got practically everything and too much for a phone call. He has opened himself and is available you to answer questions from anyone. Great. Live during the daily morning satsang. Now you ask anything you want in your life. Ask me any boon you want. Starting from 8 a.m., the lucky ones who dial 080-2727-9999. Get to talk directly with Swamiji. Watch all of this live at ntv.nityananda.org. The Ingenious Program, a field of all possibilities. The children in the Ingenious Program are directly under the guidance of enlightened master Paramahamsa Nithyananda. Nithyananda is an incarnation and exudes the knowledge of conflict-free living. He states that enlightenment is our birthright. What an incredible gift for your child, a once-in-a-lifetime privilege to live and thrive in the energy field of all possibilities and give enlightenment to your child. Where every child can become a genius. Learning can unveil the genius in every child provided it stimulates higher order thinking skills, positive self-esteem, teamwork, and an internal locus of control. Research has proven that holistic teaching methodologies paired with meditation stimulate whole brain functioning and result in self-directed, spontaneous, and creative lifelong learners. An enriched environment when young children have an enriched environment conducive to early learning in life, they have higher IQ, cognitive intelligence, EQ, social emotional intelligence, and SQ, spiritual intelligence. These early experiences are critical for the development of the child. Peer pressure and destructive social conditioning can take its toll on the child. It can create negative thought patterns and destructive behaviors unless these enriching experiences are provided. An enriched environment includes whole brain activities which stimulate the utilization of both sides of the brain. The right brain is responsible for creativity, intuition, spontaneity, quantum memory, learning in a flash, and computer-like calculations. The left side of the brain is responsible for inner linear thinking and analysis. When both sides of the brain are integrated, performance is optimal. Brain Yoga Brain Yoga activates the ability to balance the right and the left brain. This helps open the sixth sense. Children are given activities to balance both sides of the body simultaneously using distinctive postures that stimulate both sides. The neurological brain patterns move from beta to alpha, increasing alertness and attention. Quantum memory. Quantum memory is a constant downloading of information without interference of the mind. Observation skills are directly related to memory skills. Reading without interference of the mind, reading at quantum speed, will lead to quantum memory without the mind getting in the way. Creative and Performing Arts Dance, drama, music, sculpting and design offered in the Ingenious Program provide kinesthetic motor stimulation to engage the brainwave patterns resulting in expanded creativity and resourcefulness. Sattvic Food Children are given the benefit of fresh sattvic food prepared to the standards according to the ancient Vedic lifestyle. The food is fresh with fruits and vegetables. 
vegetarian food creates radiant health in the body. Vedic Cultural Arts Sanskrit chanting stimulates the brain to produce full brain coherence, developing clearer perception and integrated thinking. Chanting also promotes inner silence and improves the attention span. Meditation and Expanded Awareness Meditation instills a deep silence in the child, resulting in deeper, richer perception and clarity in thinking. Ingenious produces the next step in evolution, a mature human being who functions at a higher state of consciousness. Expanded awareness provides the platform for a vision of all abilities of life, perfect health, prosperity, and life without conflict. What more could you ask for your child? If I can just teach this one science to the kids, I will have millions of enlightened beings. You are always there in any situation only when you need something from them. Not otherwise. When you need something from them, be responsible to offer what they need from you. Constantly, I am taking the responsibility of the well-being of every ashramite. Constantly I am thinking, working, building their bodies, even if they don't want. Understand, let every individual feel the responsibility. Let every individual look into the responsibility. Corporate organizations will be successful only when every individual understand the understands the principles of life, not otherwise. You might have trained him, spending lakhs and lakhs of rupees, thousands and thousands of dollars, but suddenly he is depressed. What can you do? All your investments on him is waste. So when you train people to do certain work, train them also first to live, to be alive. I can give this to, as a technique to all corporate companies. Make sure everybody who is part of your organization wakes up morning 5 o'clock. Because at that time they will have to kill so many demons they will have to break so many patterns which will be a powerful training for them to break patterns in their day, everyday life. When you learn the method to break patterns, the moment you wake up early morning, your knife of destroying the patterns, your consciousness will be sharp and alive whole day. You will go on be cutting patterns. This is one. Next. One hour the, before you start your work. When you gather for work, one hour. They have to understand life's principles. Why they are here. The way they are here. What the society around them expects from them what they expect from the society around them. Then you will understand everything is a business. Pure give and take. When you understand everything is a business and pure give and take, you will be cleaned from many of the pseudo sentiments. Many workers feel they are sacrificing for the company. Many companies feel they are sacrificing for workers. All these pseudo-sacrifice sentiments will disappear. Many parents feel they are sacrificing for the children. And children feel, you don't need to sacrifice for me. <laughs> I am only sacrificing for you. This forced sacrifice 
Sometimes I see parents say, oh, I sacrificed my whole life for you. Don't become a sannyasi. Be here. Children say, no, no, no. I don't, we don't want your sacrifice. We are becoming sadhus. You please keep your sacrifice. No. You have to be here as I want and then I will sacrifice as I want. All this pseudo sacrifice will disappear. Whether it is the company or the society. When you understand what you need to give and what you expect, a lot of our concepts of pseudo-sacrifice disappears. And not only that, see, when your concepts of pseudo-sacrifice disappears, they don't just go alone. They take away many of your weak sentiments. Vivekananda says, weak sentiments are death. They take away many of your weak sentiments. You get cleaned by the weak sentiments. A man whose life is not built on weak principles will always be successful. See, it's like a, you try to build your building's foundation on weak sand, building won't stand. But if you make a strong foundation and build, building will stand. Same way, the principles of your life should not carry weak sentiments. Sentiments which does not stand more than one function, ceremony or celebration or ritual. Now sometime I see there are many of this kind of a weak sentiments becomes part of your life's principles. Look at your own life. You know some of the ideas, ventures, relationships you are jumping into are not going to be long-lasting, are not going to be leading you to the stable life, life satisfaction, knowing it. Say, it's okay. Now let me somehow push this. That's all. After that, uh, we will face it. modern day youth is really suffering. Humanity has never faced this crisis. I have created a one year program where you can study the spiritual truths Nitya Yoga practices to create healthy body spiritual discourses to develop mental health Meditations that help balance emotions. Kriyas to break mental patterns that create suffering. Opportunity to express leadership qualities. Techniques that improve creative skills. Learn to break all self-limiting barriers to achieve your dreams. Ananda Yogam I am providing a platform for you to think, meditate, contemplate and decide about your future. I am giving you one year free food, shelter, clothes, above all the spiritual education and intelligence and intuition to take decision about your future. Every participant is taught the Vedic truths to live life as it leads in a nurturing ambience along with inspirational spiritual education that helps bring out the best and achieve one's highest potential. Youth across the world can come and spend an year in Ananda Yogam 
to work on you to discover your future to discover your destiny or recreate your destiny i'll open my house for you for one year completely free come and stay here discover and recreate your destiny interviews at nityananda dhyanapitam nityananda nagar bidhi bengaluru 97422 Zero three three one one. Doing things which are not for long term. Doing things which are not for the principles of life. I tell you. you cannot have separate principles for your life and separate principles for a corporate company your workplace no your workplace is a major part of your life you need a integrated principle only way to have an integrated principle is every morning when you gather for a work at least spend one hour understanding responsibility if you are a devotee and running a corporate company i tell you this one hour will not reduce your productivity every day morning sit and you yourself head the meeting discuss 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 let every staff worker imbibe this principle in their life principle of responsibility only after i started my morning satsang even a sangha started evolving around me till then there was no sangha it was like group of people sitting here for various reasons only now everybody's motive is aligned to one truth you are here for one purpose and you need to take this responsibility this alignment when it happens between two persons it is not 1 plus 1 2 no it is 1 plus 1 11 understand when understanding happens between 1 plus 1 it is 2 when alignment happens between 1 plus 1 it is 11 when at one moment happens between 1 plus 1 it is explosion it is atomic explosion understanding alignment at one moment when consciously melting disciple meets with a consciously awakened being it is explosion that is what has happened between ramakrishna and vivekananda when they both met the explosion happened is ramakrishna movement i am waiting for my vivekanandas of course i know for sure each one of you guys will become vivekanandas now only in some people understanding is happening very few alignment is happening see if you if the understanding has happened you have become plus of my organization if alignment is happening you have become plus plus means into squares of my organization if atonement is happening you become squares and cubic cubes of very me not just my organization sangha honesty and authenticity needed just honesty maybe will make you to the level of understanding 
But only when the authenticity starts happening, alignment, from alignment, then happens atonement. I tell you, any corporate company, any organization, they will have to spend at least 10% of their time and energy for alignment, understanding and alignment. Understanding and alignment itself should take at least 10% of the energy. It can go even up to 25% of their energy. In my organization, I can say more than 25% of the energy I am taking because 5 hours. But only if you honestly use these 5 hours, Whoever uses this five hours honestly, I can say 20% of your time is used in proper alignment with the life's principles. For each corporate company, the alignment into the life's principles, the basic need, whether, where neither capitalism nor communism works. Responsibility is neither capitalism nor communism. Life's principles are based on responsibility. If you want to live healthily, take responsibility of your body. If you want to live happily, take responsibility of your mind. If you want to explore into the zones of consciousness, take responsibility of your spiritual entity. If you want wealth, Take the responsibility of spending your time in that direction. Take the responsibility. Chisel your whole life with a hammer called responsibility. With a tool called responsibility. 